Game 3 of the Major League Hockey Finals took place at Iroquois Park in Whitby on Sunday afternoon, March 21st. Dundas was first to get on the board at the two and a half minute mark on this dick by Ryan Healy and Rob DeCiantis on Chad Ford who thought he had the puck covered. But Whitby came back less than a minute later as Mike Pollock slipped up into the opening undetected and finds the net behind Will McCoy's netminder Dan Turpin. We're all tied at one. On to the second where Dundas once again takes the lead on a nice feed out of the corner from Rob DeCiantis to a wide open Mark Juris in front who one times it to the top corner behind Chad Ford. It's 2-1 to one Dundas. Shortly after that, Brian Christie drives the net and gets an interference penalty for bumping into Chad Ford who subsequently gets injured on the play. And on the ensuing power play, Adam Van Dam picks up a loose puck in front and fires it past a sprawling Dan Turple. It's all tied at 2. The third period saw both teams playing conservatively, not wanting to make any mistakes until near the end of the period when David McNabb finds a top corner behind Chad Ford to put the McCoys up 3-2. And with just under two minutes to go and a power play, coach Justin Cardwell calls a timeout to strategize how to get the equalizer. But despite their best efforts, Whitby was unable to manufacture any quality chances and Dundas was able to run the clock down against a frustrated Whitby Dunlops team, ensuring them a victory giving them a commanding 3-0 lead in the best of seven major league hockey finals. For more information visit WhitbyDunlops.com